So it's been one week now since the video that I did on the state of Gran Turismo 7 and I've heard probably unsurprisingly nothing. This combined with the tweet that was backed by quite a few members of the community oh, a little while ago now has left me with very few options, very few options. But what specifically last week's video showed me is that my views are pretty much aligned with all of yours. And we are feeling the same frustration and we want the same things. With that in mind, I have written a letter which is up on Twitter to Polyphony Digital, Kaz Yamauchi. And rather than explaining too much about it, I'm just going to read it. Um, so here we go. Uh, Dear Mr. Yamauchi, Winston Churchill once said, Courage is what it takes to stand up and speak. Courage is also what it takes to sit down and listen. With this in mind, I felt it necessary to find the courage myself to put my head above the parapet and speak out on behalf of the community on a topic very dear to myself and many others, Gran Turismo 7. In this letter, I wish to outline the current issues and the importance of collaboratively rectifying said issues. This letter is written with an aspiration to ultimately mutually agree a framework for regular and transparent developer and community communication going forward. Enthused by the polished and encouraging Gran Turismo 7 PlayStation State of Play event, I alongside many others received the eagerly anticipated latest game in the franchise in March. However, after a few weeks, the shine started to leave the game and clear gaps became apparent between the features we were sold on and those present in the game. Trends were also clear on the similarities between this title and its predecessor, Gran Turismo Sport. An example of a notable absence is the dynamic weather and an example of the similarities with Gran Turismo Sport are the daily races which are limited in number, unimaginative and often repeated. Whilst the aforementioned could be classed as frustrations, there are also key issues that are unacceptable. One of the headlines in this category is the continued instability of the game. Manifesting in the form of multiple game crashes and failures, an issue so bad it has led for the need to change the scoring for the flagship official Gran Turismo World Series Championship. The other headline I'd like to mention in this letter is the unusable online lobbies. A key feature meaning friends can no longer race together and community leagues have come to a halt. All of this is compounded by a lack of communication or acknowledgement from Polyphony Digital, leaving the community feeling ignored. A sweeping sense of disengagement and in a growing number of cases that I've seen, resentment towards the game. Therefore, I would like to invite you to, for a face-to-face -face discussion around the current position of Gran Turismo 7 since launch to gain clarity on the aforementioned key topics. My views are aligned with the vast majority of the community and I would like the opportunity to use my platform to voice the player base's view on what has gone well and what has not gone so well and share Polyphony Digital's view on the same. I would also like to understand and share what issues are viewed as Polyphony Digital's biggest risks and have sight of the roadmap of addressing these. Finally, I would like to negotiate the introduction of a new communication structure whereby regular and transparent updates can be shared with input from the player base, steering decision making on the priority of fixing key issues. Our passion and this call to action are through 
the love of this franchise. Many of us whom have had the game since the original Gran Turismo in 1997, we're both trying to solve the same problem. For clarity and ease, I am happy to self-fund a trip to Polyphony Digital's headquarters in Tokyo, Japan to facilitate this at your convenience. Kind regards, Rory Alexander. Yeah, I feel that we've we've tweeted, we've done a video on it. The next logical step is to write this letter. I'm hoping that you guys don't mind me saying that I'm speaking on behalf of the community from well as I mentioned from the video and the comments on the video it's pretty clear I think it's on about 40,000 views now it's pretty clear that we're aligned with this and as such I feel almost a responsibility to use the small voice that I have which is through my YouTube channel much larger than others to try and gain some traction and get the answers that we need or just even the transparency that we all need from the developers of the game we love. As I say, I hope you guys are okay with this. Um, and yeah, I hope this will finally be the thing that opens up some communication, some transparent and regular communication so we can get these things that we need to fixed and we can get back to enjoying the game that we wanted to love and were so excited for um, so, so much. Thank you.